chicken bowls coming in real quick I hope anyway but we're gonna do this styling with our hair natural hair and I'm just adding some crochet braids to this style I actually was motivated and inspired to do this hairstyle by Chic Natural here on YouTube and I just put my own little twist on it and just give you a little something extra a little baboon to it if you will so here we're just going through and combing out our hair really nicely and we want to try to get as many tangles out as possible and remember always when you're combing your hair just start at the ends and work your way up do the same thing to the other side and I did do that off camera all right we're back and we're ready to go ahead and start styling our hair so again one more comb through then we're gonna go ahead and part it I did not make a smooth or straight part on this hair but it's okay it all worked out in the end but it drove me absolutely crazy when I saw it on the uh, back play of the video when I was editing but we worked around it and the hairstyle came out great so putting that up out of the way the part we're not going to work with and we're going to start in the very back of the head using an elastic band we're going to just go ahead and use that to secure our ponytail want to do it tight taut but not tight and then just go ahead and do a two strand twist oh my goodness <laughs> and just roll that around the elastic band and tuck it away and you're gonna hair pin that down when you start with the crochet and I'm taking three different colors I'm using a black I believe that's 1B and a 30 and a 350 and this is the Havana twist and 24 inches so we're just going to use that and make it look so pretty. And of course you're going to use hair pins here as well to lock it in place. but I have a really small head so I wasn't able to get six ponytails out of this style but it's okay it still look great in my opinion and I'm just gonna go ahead and work your way through this until you get to the front area so I'm just gonna step back and let everything go through <music> to go back and use the open end hair pins instead to put the hair on and that will work much better.
I'm just taking the ends of that hair and just tucking it under so you can't see that. And we're in the front of the hair now using some jam. Old school, y'all know me. <laughs> okay, so we're just gonna put that on and slick our edges down so they stay nice and flat for us. And um, this is still the same process. You're still gonna go ahead and do your two strand twist, wrap that around, and then we're gonna take the crochet, the 12 inch, and make our bang with it, with that hair. All right, now I'm gonna play with this front of, for a little while until I decide which way we're gonna go with this style in the front. So <laughs> it was kind of like, okay, am I gonna do it this way or am I gonna do it that way? So finally came up with the solution and it's gonna unfold for you guys right about now. <laughs> I did end up using some black here also with the 350 to come up with the bang area and then I just cut it in a style like an asymmetrical cut and it worked out really well I really did enjoy this hairstyle guys and everyone at work they were like, oh my gosh, Gina, we love your hair, and this, that, and other. So I got a lot of compliments on the style, and I will be revisiting it again. And um, I'm actually thinking about maybe doing a video or like a series on how I style crochet braids. So thumbs up this video, comment down below, and don't you dare forget to subscribe to the channel. That way you won't miss that video. And I will see you fancy beauties and bows in the next video. I love you so much and take care of yourself. As always, this is Gina here to help you get your beauty fancy. Talk to you later, guys.